Here's a fun spelling game that only requires one piece of equipment to play, a standard QWERTY computer keyboard. Now, don't worry if you don't have access to a computer keyboard. You can still play by using a printout of a keyboard layout, something that looks a bit like this. All right, here's how to play. The aim of the keyboard spelling game is to create as many words as possible by jumping between letters on the keyboard. The most important rule of this game is that you can only jump to letters that are positioned to the right of your current letter. Let me demonstrate with an example. To start, choose any letter on the keyboard. Let's say the letter S. Now remember, I can only jump to a letter that is positioned to the right of the letter S, which means that the letters Q, W, A, and Z are now out of play. Let's highlight them red. I can, however, jump to any of these letters in green because they are positioned to the right of the letter S. Let's jump to the letter T on the top row. Now that we are positioned on the letter T, the number of letters we can jump to next is reduced. Remember, we can only jump to letters that are positioned to the right of our current letter. Let's jump to the letter O. Our sequence of letters is now S, T, O, and we're well on our way to completing a word. From the letter O, there are now only two letters that we can jump to, the letter L or the letter P. Let's jump to the letter P to complete the word stop, S, T, O, P. Once you've completed a word and written it down, the game resets and you can start again from any letter on the keyboard. Remember, your goal is to spell as many words as possible. So that's how to play the keyboard spelling game, but here are a couple of optional house rules to keep things interesting. Number one, completed words must be three or more letters long. Number two, you're allowed to jump on the same letter twice to create double letters, such as in the word bull, B-U-L-L. -L. Number three, jumping back to previously used letters, however, is not allowed, so the word bulb, B-U-L-B, -B, would not count. And number four, proper nouns, acronyms, and initialisms are not allowed. Five or more words will score you a bronze medal. 10 or more words will score you a silver medal, and 20 or more words will score you a gold medal. Once you've found as many words as possible using these rules, you can also try a variation of the game, moving from right to left across the keyboard instead. What other variations can you come up with? We hope you enjoy this quirky, quirty spelling game. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon. Hey there, if you like what we do here at Teach Wonderful, make sure to subscribe to our channel. You'll also find plenty of amazing teaching ideas, student worksheets, and merch over at teachwonderful.com. Thanks for watching, we'll see you soon.